So I've talked a lot about the role of right-wing media feeding disinformation and hatred and basically radicalizing a lot of people, you know, radicalizing uh, grandpa and, 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 and grandma and, you know, Mima, whatever, whatever you want to call them, um, basically taking what were, were, were normal seeming, you know, good people and, and turning them into virulent, racist, you know, uh, xenophobic demagogues. Uh, and so now conservatives laugh off the idea that, oh, no, no, th that's not radicalization. No, radicalization is believe in Antifa. Uh, and, and then, of course, uh, look at the Muslims. Uh, you know, those are the uh, all the Muslims are the extremists, right? Mm, OK, uh, but anyway, you know, they're, they're, they're of course, they're laughing this off. Uh, when I call out their media sources uh, and and call them what they are, conservative propaganda. All right. So now can this uh, is is basically conservative white supremacist propaganda. Uh, and according to a former neo-Nazi, somebody who knows his propaganda, well, that is exactly what Fox News is. Uh, and he's going to tell CNN this this is excellent. This was a. Uh, uh, an interview here with Frank Mink, uh, and he was a former neo-Nazi. Take a look. Has this type of extremist reached a new level in your view? And if so, what is driving it? Well, what's driving it is, you know, the fear. It's uh, fear and narcissism and that uh, fake patriotism that's just nationalism wrapped up, again, with worshiping an idol. But what Again, what we can do is with these people that are just continuously passing any conspiracies is we have to realize that Fox News, and I know that this is CNN, but Fox News has completely radicalized so many Americans. If you look at Fox News and then you compare that to hate radio from Rwanda and what started that civil war, there's comparisons there. Like, so we have to know that a lot of our fellow Americans, fellow children of God have been radicalized by a network of news that as a former radical, I can tell you from watching Fox News all, I can show you where they're same radical stuff that I used to say. I used to have a TV show as a neo-Nazi. I used to know how to do the, they used the same stuff. Instead of saying where I would say Jews, they say big media. Like, I mean, it's just, they swapped out a couple of words here and there, but it's still just radicalization. So that's where we have to look is Fox News. So look, it's important to note that, again, he knows what he's talking about. He was, uh, when he was 16, Frank Mink was one of the most well-known skinhead neo-Nazis in the country. So he was very, very deep into it uh, and actually went to prison. Uh, and while he was in prison, he ended up, of course, abandoning his white supremacist beliefs and actually began lecturing against racism uh, and even published a book back in 2010. He also has con uh, testified uh, before Congress about right wing extremism. So like, this is a good example of, for one, somebody moving forward uh, as an individual who had horrible views. Uh, and change those views, now speaks out against them. I love that. I have a ton of respect for people uh, that have done that. Uh, I, I love it when people come over to our side. Uh, I love it when people realize the things that they have done wrong uh, and, and actually go, hey, you know what? The things that I used to believe, the horrible things that actually hurt people, um, I don't believe in that stuff. In fact, here's how, here's how I got radicalized to prevent you or anyone else from becoming radicalized as well. Uh, and, you know, again, part of that being able to stop that pipeline is to expose what's what's starting that pipeline in the first place. OK, uh, and so that's Fox News and conservative media. All right. Um, in fact, one thing I've noticed about Fox News, and I'm sure you've noticed this, too, is they don't really talk that much about about news, you know, I mean, most of what they talk about is couched in, is, is, is really couched in culture war stuff. I mean, for one, you know, going after trans people, uh, attacking homeless people. Uh, you know, you've, you've heard the segments where they're like, oh, the, they're dirty homeless people in liberal Los Angeles, California. That's what's going on. All the dirty homeless people, disgusting, filthy, gross, you know. And they also attack uh, liberals and accuse them of, of course, taking away your guns, your religion, which, by the way, you still still both. All right. Uh, and and look, that's again, that's a lot of their quote unquote opinion shows. But even their opinion shows, even their so-called straight news shows actually also are, are loaded with this stuff and loaded with 
misinformation. Okay. And, and so, you know, what do you think is going to happen when you, when, when you constantly tell people that that's going to happen? The libs are coming for you. Libs are coming for you. Libs are coming for you. Well, you're, you're going to have a, you're going to have a pretty bad opinion of, of, of the libs, right? Uh, and so here's the thing about that. Obama didn't take your guns. Biden's not taking your guns. Nobody's taking your guns. The, the scary transgenders aren't assaulting women in bathrooms. No, it turns out transgender women just want to pee just like anybody else in the restroom without getting harassed. I know, crazy. Um, and, and so, but, but understand that this is how Fox and conservative media work. They set up a problem that doesn't ex actually exist, and then they rage about it. And they do segment after segment. Who cares about a genderless potato? Okay, uh, who made that a big story? Conservatives made that a big story. Oh my God, they're oh they're they're taking away the Mister from Mister Potato Head. It's a culture war. That's just the newest example of them doing this culture war stuff. And so they rage about it. And there are plenty of people that make money. They get clicks. Uh, they they get lots of views, and they piss people off. They 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 really whip them up. Uh, and you know. They do so in, in order to get votes, uh, in order to get people to turn out during the midterm elections and all that stuff. Uh, and so these people, by the way, these politicians, they do sometimes are, are very successful in passing bills that hurt people. You know, bathroom bills and anti-trans bills and anti-gay bills and things like that. Um, they pass stuff that hurts people and, of course, go against things that help people, like, for example, COVID relief. Did any Republican vote for Biden's COVID-19 relief bill? $1.9 trillion. A, a, a bill that was actually smaller than the one passed by Donald Trump. Smaller bill. Less benefits. Except for the last one, the 1600 Um, Because in, in total, actually Trump, under Trump, we actually got more COVID relief in the form of stimulus checks. Uh, and so, and unemployment. It was $600 unemployment. And then it got reduced uh, in the second one. And then it's back up with the third one. No Republican voted for it at all. No Republican voted for it. Uh, and so this is what happens, right? And they vote against, you know, higher wages, $15 minimum wage. Uh, they vote against better working conditions. They want to make work con uh, conditions actually worse. And so the result, though, the, and, and the reason they do this, actually, uh, to get that result is that Fox News is leading this culture war. Okay. And that's all they talk about. Everything gets wrapped up in the culture wars. So even things that might help poor people, that, that help the people who watch Fox News, despise it because it has been related to the culture war. Okay. A large amount of Republicans, for example, agree that we should raise wages or also agree that we should expand Medicare uh, and give Medicare to people. Right. But since it's Fox News and since, uh, you know, Fox News is, is corporate media and they are against con corporate conservative propaganda uh, that only serves the Republican Party and their business interests and their donors. Well, they're against that idea. And so then they use their culture war outlets to go and tie in AOC and Bernie Sanders and make them, you know, appear to be like super scary sco uh, socialists. And so they get you to hate things that you would be in favor of normally if it weren't tied to a politician. This is what they do. This is what they do. Okay. And so it all, it all comes down to pushing disinformation, fuel the culture wars, while the Republicans use this as cover to pick your pocket, to pick everybody's pocket. Funnel that wealth to the donor class. Uh, and so this is a distraction. And yes, of course, many of them are also racist, sexist, transphobes, uh, of course. But they also rile people up uh, and, and, and blame them for problems that old cis white men, let's be real, may or may not be experiencing. It's a lucrative market. I, I think it is. You know, look, uh, understand the demographic that Fox News panders to is, is 70 plus. Uh, they're, they're 70 plus, generally white cis upper middle class men and and you know mostly like i said mostly well they actually aside from the rich 
happen to have a lot more money. I'm just saying, they've got a lot more money than, for example, the younger generations, the millennial generations, uh, and things like that. So they're a market to be milked. That's what it is. Uh, they pander that market by basically fighting that culture war uh, because it's a literal cash cow for both politicians and certain advertisers, for example, a certain a certain pillow advertiser, for example. Uh, and so, yeah, despite that, of course, not being the majority of the country anymore, they still have a lot of the money and they still have a lot of the power. And so that Fox News audience is also, by the way, conditioned to spend more. Uh, they're willing to spend more of their actual personal money on supporting bigots, you know, uh, bigot, uh, bigots, racist, transphobes, and, you know, whether they be running for office or, you know, in the marketplace, uh, uh, you know, running their own businesses. And so that's really, you know, maybe part of it, at least. All right. Uh, and now the really interesting thing here um, is how Fox News, the Fox News audience and the Republican politicians are, are kind of stuck in this gigantic feedback loop. OK, Fox makes something an issue and then usually that trickles up from, you know, a couple of people online pointing something out, maybe in a 4chan chat room or something, um, or a very small, small issue. Fox News brings it up or it trickles through right wing media. Uh, it starts on like some fringe site like the Gateway Pundit, for example. Uh, they point something out. It filters up. It trickles. It, it, it goes through the, the right wing ecosystem. It ends up on Fox News. It, once it ends up on Fox News, it enrages the Fox audience because Fox News tells you to be mad about it. Republican politicians then hear about it through Fox News because it's such a gigantic platform uh, that they end up either proposing legislation, uh, which they either win or, you know, if they win, liberal media gets mad and then conservatives can come out and say, ha ha, liberal tears, we make money off that uh, and all that stuff. Or if you lose, the audience, the Fox News audience gets really mad. And then the politicians say, well, if you elect me, if you get us Republicans into power, then we'll actually do something about the, the, the trans people and all that stuff. We'll do something about abortion, uh, or, you know, and they either try or fail or try and fail or get something passed or they just don't do anything at all. And they end up funneling more money to uh, themselves and, and their wealthy donors. It's kind of how it works. It's kind of how it works. OK, um, it's a game. And, and in this game, they pit the American people against each other. All right. Against those with not a lot of power versus those with no power and those with more power against those with less power. And so with conservatives, remember, it's all about punching down. And Fox News is a master at getting people to punch down. All for, of course, profit. Uh, and in doing so, they make sure to radicalize Americans against each other. Uh, they are not conservatives. They are reactionaries and they are reactionaries for profit. They are extremists. Uh, and they are one of the big problems here in this country, if not one of the biggest. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.